If you are looking for a one-page WordPress website using only the Gutenberg Blog Editor completely free, then this video is for you. This is the beautiful page template I will be building from scratch with WordPress Blog Editor with four sections. Anytime someone clicks at the menu links, it jumps straight to the correspond section. If this interests you, keep watching. Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you don't know me, I'm Natalie from Sites with Natalie. If you want to support the channel, you just need to subscribe or hit the like button. In this channel, I talk about all things related to WordPress websites. A benefit of a one-page WordPress website is that all your information is positioned in a specific order. Make it easier for your audience to navigate your website and get all the information they can get when they interact with your brand. It's easy to scroll through and doesn't take much time to find what they are looking for. Tools I'm using, I have installed the 2022 default team that comes with a fresh WordPress installation. As for plugins, I have none at the moment. I like to install plugins as I need them, since you fully understand why we need them. In old versions of default WordPress themes, you could hardly customize any section. However, with the latest version of WordPress 5.9, it makes it possible to change the layout and customize it without coding. 5.9 users can create a custom template when using the full site editing features. If you are still struggling on how the WordPress Gutenberg Blocks Editor interface works, I have recently released a video tutorial. I will leave the link in the comment section below. I create a new page called Home. Then on the template section, I click on the New button. I want to create my custom template. You must give it a logical name. I call it Forward One Page and click on Create. I want to make my four sections. Then in a few minutes we will create the navigation section and the top scrolling button. For the sake of this tutorial I will be using block patterns to keep the tutorial short. So click on the plus button to open up the list view tools. I delete all these groups as we will be creating from scratch. So select the group and then click Remove. We don't need them. Click now at the plus icon to start adding the page content. Select the patterns. From the drop-down list there will be categories like features, footers, headers, query, pages, and more. By clicking on each of the patterns, you can choose what layout you want to display for your visitors. You don't need to use shortcodes to show different sections or to customize. They are grouped blocks ready to be installed. All you have to do is to select the one you want to use. Alternatively, you can click on the Explore button to get a larger preview interface. I stick with feature and then I scroll down and I find my layout. To insert, just click on that and it immediately is inserted into your page. You can customize and control the layout spacing by assigning padding. I suggest you use the RAM unit as it is a responsive unit. Just enter here your, your value and you are ready to go. The next step is to create the About section. Click on the plus icon to add the block and then the Adding. Under the Font Families, you only have two fonts. The System font and the Source Serif Pro. Let's increase your font family choice. To do that, you need to install a free plugin. So, move over to your WordPress dashboard.
out under plugins add the new one then do a search for twin deck finish this one click twice to install and then to activate the plugin then move over again to the to the template select your template so templates for width there you go and then under typography we have and now you get this full range of fonts to utilize on your Gutenberg website awesome great we have a lot of options with this free plugin now I want to insert after the heading and I use the block patterns to insert a new section just select it and it immediately is added to your page I also want to add a spacer element so i click on the plus icon i search for spacer there it is with 100 pixels that's fine i want to insert another heading so what i want to do now is to duplicate and then move down inside there I change services I want to insert after so on the front end this is the my four sections the about section the services and the contact my next step is to create a navigation area from scratch now let's move ahead and to create my navigation area list view select insert before and click on the plus icon and do a search for navigation we start empty as we don't have any menu already created and then to insert the links you click on the head button and then we are adding the custom links home and then press enter key or return then to add once more you need always to select the top level and then select the, and i insert about press enter then click it once more on the plus icon this time i had service custom links enter select the navigation top level and then contact press enter with the, nav the top level navigation select and you can here change the justification and orientation for me i want to justify to write i also want to have the background color so navigation top level is selected and now under the color background i want this light gray color ah uh, what i want to do now is to add my page jumps or anchor links page jumping is a very useful technique for this type of one page wordpress website whenever your visitor clicks a link it instantly gets moved somewhere further down to enable this you put the html anchor as a heading attribute in your page and then create a link that jumps to the anchor so i select my about heading and to the right i give it here a html anchor enter here your html anchor just type a word or two without spaces in lower cases for me i go with about services advanced and enter your html no spaces my last one is this one contact advanced contact the only thing left to do now is to do the linking to my HTML anchors. So navigate to the navigation block, select each menu link item. It's easier. It's easy. Don't get overwhelmed. So I select under the H URL, just delete the, this HTTP and enter the hashtag. 
in lower case and press enter or return from your keyboard and for the services link then services press enter and the last one contact let's check now how this goes this is what we have created every time i click on each menu link it jumps straight to the section right however it's fantastic i like this for small business users however let's improve the navigation for your users as i don't want my users to move this bar every time they click on the menu link so to fix this is quite easy move over to the plugins tab from your wordpress dashboard let's use a free plugin now do a search for this plugin okay click to install and once more to activate under the plugin settings make sure you activate it down below you can specify the location bottom right left top i want this bottom right for me and then you can choose here in your icon i go with this one and then save your changes let's go back there it is i click on the about then i scroll up i click on the services and then up As you can see, it's super easy to create your one-page WordPress website with Gutenberg blocks completely free. If you have any questions, please leave them on the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. I catch you on my next one. Bye-bye.